Hi students. In the last class, we have solved some numericals based on electricity. So today we will be solving more numericals based on current, voltage and resistance. So let us start. Next question is, what is the highest and lowest total resistance that can be situated by combination of four coils of resistance 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 12 ohm and 24 ohm. We know that in series circuit, the total resistance is a sum of the individual resistance. So solution to A is when all the four resistors are connected in series, that will be the highest resistance. So Rs will be is equal to 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 24, which gives 48 ohm. So the equivalent resistance of a series circuit is equal to what? 48 ohm. Next, what is solution to B, the lowest resistance? We know that when four resistors are connected in parallel, the resistance will be the lowest. So one by RP, which is equal to one by R1 plus one by R2 plus one by R3 plus one by R4. So what do you get here? One by four plus one by eight plus one by 12 plus one by 24, which is nothing but 1 by Rp. So 1 by Rp, which is equal to what you get here? 24 as a common factor. So 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So 9, what you get? 12 divided by 24, which is 1 by Rp, or Rp, which is equal to, take the inverse of this, so 24 divided by 12, which is equal to 2 ohm. So compare this, 48 ohm and 2 ohm. So 48 will be highest, and 2 ohm will be the lowest. When four resistors are connected in, series that will be the highest resistance when four resistors are connected in parallel that will be the lowest resistance question number six is the value of current i flowing in a given resistor for the corresponding values of potential difference v across the resistor are given below find the value of resistance using graph so we have i is given and voltage is given we have the graph sheet here. So we need to have the x-axis and we need to have the y-axis. X-axis, we have taken the voltage. The values of voltage is ranging from 1.6 to 13.2. So I have choose the scale on x-axis as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Similarly, the current I is ranging from 0.5 to 4 R. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let us plot the graph. When the voltage is 1.6, the corresponding current value is 0.5. So this is 1. So this is 1.5. So 1.6 somewhere here. And the value for current is 0.5. So this is the first mark. I have selected the x-axis and y-axis values. I showed you the first value, that is when the current is 0.5 ampere, the corresponding value of voltage is 1.6. Similarly, we have when the current is 1 ampere, the voltage value is 3.4. So how to choose that? We have voltage 2 here and 4 here. The middle value is uh, 3. So count 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4. 3 you will get the corresponding one. Next, we have 6.7 here corresponding value of current is 2 ampere. So how to measure 6.7? This is 6 volt, this is 8 volt. So this will be, middle point will be 7 volt. So it is not 7, so it is 6.7. So this will be 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, straight line and corresponding to. Similarly, you plot the other two 
values are shown in here. If you join all this line, you will get a straight line like this. Next step, what we have to do here is, we have to take a slope. How do we find the resistance from this graph? The slope of this line gives you what? The resistance value. So we are going to calculate the slope of this triangle A, B, and C. So the slope, which is equal to BC, divided by AC. So let us find out the values. What is B here? It is three minus C value is one. So it is two ampere. What is um, AC here? It is 10 here. So this is 10.2, this division, okay? So it is 10.2 minus this division is, this is two, this is four. So this is three somewhere here. So it is 3.4. Each small unit is 0.2. So 3.2, 3.4. 3.4, 3.4, 3.4, which gives you what? 6.8 volt. So now what we get BC is two ampere divided by 6.8 volt. So this, this is the slope, but what is resistance? Resistance is equal to, we know that it is V by I. So the slope is I by V. So resistance will be what? Inverse of slope, which is equal to 6.8 divided by two, which gives you what? 3.4 ohm. That is the resistance value.